Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out with Martin Bacoli. Martin, you're going to be headlining on October the 13th at York Hall. How excited are you about the prospect of being top of the bill on free-to-air national TV? Yeah, thank you. I'm very excited about this fight because it's a big fight for me in my career. So, big step for me. So, I'm very excited. And especially it's on tele. And I want to thank my promoter for this big op opportunity. So... I'm so exciting, you know. For people that haven't seen you fight in the past, just describe your style for us and tell the fans what they can expect when they tune in. Uh, say again about... For people that haven't seen you fight in the past, how do you fight? What's your style? What can people expect? Yeah, you know, uh, my book, I got like a true style, you know. Sometimes I can stand and fight and sometimes I can st uh, fight like a boxer, normal boxer. And... About this one, I'm going to give this this guy a fight. I'm going to show him that this is not Cosworth, this is Everett. So I want him to feel me, and I don't know if he can, but he will, he will pass six on because I'm going to fight him like Everett, not Cosworth. If he come to fight me, yeah, but if he come to box, I'll box him. So, have you seen many of his fights? You? Uh, yeah. No, uh, I saw, yeah, I saw, but. Uh, I don't care about that <laughs> because you can watch maybe if he box he knocks someone out in the five round six round and i watch the fight that he go 12 round you know it's different yeah but i don't care about that me when i go in the ring i will so i'll impose him what i'm doing so i'll tell me hey, that is why that is not me this is real me now in the ring about watching is no boxing inside maybe i yeah, can watch to watch mistake but Maybe he can go and repair that mistake in the ring. So I have to show him who I am and I have to improve or how good I am, you know. How long have you been in the gym with Billy Nelson now? Like, when did you come back from the Congo for this fight? Yeah, I'm going to two months now since when I'm back here. Uh, I've done one month full, four weeks with the IG sparring. So after here, uh, IG, I'm finished this week with IG. Then I think maybe I'll spar with Yuri Fieri uh, for one week and after that and I still have maybe two or three weeks for sparring and start relaxing and focus on my, 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 my fight on 30, 31 October. That's two very different styles you're sparring. So AJ quite come forward, technically sound. Huey Fury more of a mover. You know, he's fast, uses his feet a lot. How good of an experience is that that you spar two very different fighters? Yeah, it's big difference because I know when I spar AJ, I stand and come to fight because if this guy wants to come and fight, so I already have that in my mind. And if I'm going to Yuri Fury because maybe he think he's goes weight. He will try to move and try to box me from far so I can learn how to stop him. Uh, I know how I stop him because I will let the hell out. My coach always tell me where, where is weakness and where I can stop him. So that's why I know we choose that to sparring partner. What of the four weeks did you say with AJ? What, what has that been like for you? I know you've sparred him in the past, but what's it been like this time? Yeah, this time is a very big difference because the first time maybe... They took me, they didn't know me who I am. And when they realized that I'm good, and when I come, I was coming to spy him four round. You know, it was like two or three people who spar four round and come go out. But this time, I can see a big difference because it's his coach. He decides only me to stay in the gym, give me like yesterday, 10 round full, only me. And like before we used to be four, now it's two people, you know. It's a big difference for me. I can see that and the people talking, even his coach, even himself. He said, no, tomorrow I'm a, a future old champion. No. So it's a big difference for me. Is it closer between you now? So when you first sparred AJ, was it he was much better and now you're maybe the same? What would you say? Yeah, before it used to be different. But now when we spar, we can see like we're fighting. You know, everyone is showing his technique. Everyone show you how we how good he is because I'm going to spy him so I'm focused as like I'm fighting so I'm not going to just give to give him sparring but I'm going to work too you know because I'm preparing for for, for the fight so yeah he's, he's preparing I'm preparing too so it's good sparring for both of us
And does sparring with AJ, who is the current unified world champion, does that tell you where you are in the world? Are you, you know, top five, top ten? Does that show you? To spar Joshua, so it make me believe that no, I'm a champion, all champion in the future. Because after spar him, he can feel me, and after spar, people leaving his coach is talking good about me. So because in the UK, yeah, it's Joshua is a champion. All champion. It's nobody wants to spy me again in the UK. So if I spy him 10 rounds, 10, and I'm going for 12, maybe say 10, no coach change. So it means a lot to me. So I'm a champion, a future champion. But believe me. You're not going to hurt him, are you? Because <laughs> we want him to have the Povetkin fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, you know. It, it's big difference between sparring and fight, you know. Yeah, in sparring is just sparring, but in fight is fight. And fight with fighting, the, the, the small gloves, you know. So it's a big difference when you spar is sparring and when you, who, who you're fighting is other story, you know. But me, when I'm sparring, I always spar like I'm fighting. I don't care about uh, big gloves, I don't care about head cask, but I'm fighting focus sparring because if you're not focused on the gym in the fight you won't be focused too you know so i have to be focused in the gym so in fight must be easy just final question if all goes well against hunter and you win where do you see yourself in say a year's time yeah um not if i'm going to win and move on to next fight i think maybe after maybe december something like that and then i'll fight the next fight maybe uh for my manager I was talking to me after this fight maybe second one i can go in top 10 and top 10 i can face anybody now everyone is running uh, uh, away uh, uh, is running away of me so uh, now I'm, I'm ready to face anybody no after two or three fights brilliant we thank you for your time martin and best of luck on channel five and at your call thank you.